Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. From the gun on third down, Rich. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On the give, this is their fullback. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. <laughs> on second down now, Ratliff. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Up the middle they go, Ratliff. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the eight yard line. Second and five from the eight. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And a little bit of space there, takes it inside the five to the three. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. From three yards out. And the Falcons are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Phillips to throw on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Operating from the gun. Phillips. He finds his man complete. That's Kane. 
And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Okay, Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw, Phillips. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Looking to throw, Phillips. He finds his man, complete. That's Kane. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 38-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I don't think that play had a chance to succeed right from the start. Unfortunately, they couldn't call that one back. The defense was well aware of what they were trying to get done. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Operating from the gun, Phillips. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Murphy. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To throw is Phillips. To throw on third down. And that will be incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder. You think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Rich over the middle complete. That's Stanley. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Falcons. It's the fullback with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Falcons extend their fourth quarter lead, and they are closing in now on a 14-win campaign. Well, after another passing touchdown, I don't think it'd be an understatement to say that he's in the zone, and I believe he likes it. Point after here, coming up. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. 
Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Back to throw. Phillips. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games where you just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. On first down, Ratliff. He's got it to the 43 here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Ratliff. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 60 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. They'll run on first down. Ratliff stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. <laughs> on second down, Ratliff. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. On first down, Ratliff. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Right back to him on first down. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Falcons up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line point after up and good and that'll push the lead up to 29 now 
So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Looking to throw. Phillips. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Murphy. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Back-to-back ready, ready. -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw. Phillips. He finds his man complete. It's Armstrong. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Phillips now on first and 10. His throw caught right around the six. And the Buccaneers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Looking to throw. Phillips. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Back to throw. Phillips. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Now the extra point. lead down to 22. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. The Bucks ready for the kickoff, and here we go. It's in the air. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone, and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Falcons in victory formation as they take an aim. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense? They certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Falcons, they continue to show they'll be a tough out in the playoffs as they move to 14-2 and two on the year.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.